When filming your signs, you might have multiple camera angles or you might have separate audio to the video that you recorded. So let's have a look at how to sync those up in iMovie. Now, unfortunately in iMovie, there's no just auto way to do this, but you can do it quite easily manually. And to make your life so much easier, think about that in the filming process. So when you're filming, say you're interviewing, an, uh, interviewing a scientist, then if it's like a 30 minute interview or 20 minute interview, then just leave the camera going and the audio for 20 minutes because it's so much easier just to sync one and then clip it all up than it is to kind of sync 10 um, and just spend your entire day um, just syncing audio clips. But let's have a look at how we do that manually in iMovie. So I'm going to bring in this first clip just here and I'm actually going to detach the audio from this. So I'll detach the audio so I can see these really well. Um, and then I'm going to bring in my audio to go with it. This is the same audio, um, but we can imagine it's, it's different. I'm going to press I and O just to get a little bit of that so we can have a go at this process. Um, I'm going to drag it down into the second part, and then I'm going to listen to what, it's, what she's actually saying. Obscured by the fog and mist, which isn't ideal. Obscured by fog and mist, which isn't ideal. Behind that is the Chardonnay because of the rain. Um, if the fog and mist, which fog and mist which isn't ideal okay so let's bring this around to about that same spot and zoom in and then we want to try and match these up um, down the valley to my so we can see that this peak here these peaks come into the the yellow and the red look the same as those there so let's try that um, down the valley to my left, you can... Giving a bit of a, a robot feel there, but that doesn't matter because I can actually just um, mute this and see what it sounds like. Um, down the valley... You can actually be off by like one or two frames and it doesn't matter too much. You still get... Your brain matches those up later. Ideal. Um, down the valley to my left. That sounds good to me. And then I can delete this uh, and actually zoom out. And if I want to bring in that second camera angle... Uh, that's actually already synced up now. So if I bring that whole thing in as well, I can make sure the audio is down on this, and that's the same audio. Ideal. Um, down the valley to my left, you can probably see Chamonix on a good. Okay, so with that, just making sure that you um, leave your camera running and leave the audio recorder running and just syncing that up manually. If you have to do it manually, just make sure you have to do it only manually, manually once. There are some external um, bits of software that you can use for it. But honestly, if you just leave it running for, say, 20 minutes and then just do it once and then clip it all up, it's a lot easier, even when you're doing it manually in iMovie. So that's a good way of making sure that you, your sound from your videos uh, is a lot better by using an, an external audio recorder and then syncing up later.